Good evening and congratulations to the Highland Park High School students being honored tonight. I wish I could be there with you to join in the celebration and meet each one of you personally. I started in broadcasting as a high school sophomore at Highland Park and now somehow I ended up here as the chief investigative correspondent for ABC News. A lot seems to have changed in Highland Park since I graduated 49 years ago. The Little Giants are now somehow the Giants. Nutrier no longer wins every single game and now the city even plows the sidewalks. But what hasn't changed, I know from my own experience, is the reputation for excellence that Highland Park High School stands for. Producing students with a wonderful combination of intellectual curiosity, grit, and self-confidence that makes them leaders. So again, congratulations to all of you and enjoy the evening. Should I say my full name and stuff? Okay. From the Chamber of Commerce Dinner, I'm Sam Brief, HPTV. And should I mention you? I was nominated for the Chamber of Commerce by Tom Vogelsang for my hard work and dedication at the HPHS Media Center over the last few years. My name is Allison Perlman. I'm here because I was selected by Mr. Soroyce and Ms. Oxner. I had Mr. Soroyce for stats and I guess I'm, I try my best in that class. I may not be the brightest student, but I'm definitely engaged all the time. And Miss Oxner knows me from volleyball. Hi, um, I'm Bianca Oviedo. I'm 17. What else should I say? Honestly, it was kind of a surprise to me. It was really nice. Miss Palmberg nominated me. She's my track coach as well, so I get to see a lot of her, and I think it's great that she was able to see almost a leadership quality in me. I was very, very happy to hear that from her. I'm Issa Spurry. I was nominated by my wonderful foreign language teachers, Ms. Lewicki, Ms. Barmanente, and Ms. Walrab. It might have been just my decision to continue taking foreign languages all four years, and also I'm taking three this year, which is typically more than the norm for a high school student. Like my name? Yeah. Hey, my name is Sydney Janetsky. I was nominated by Mr. Chikowski and Mr. Holkowski for being in the Learning Center every single day and coming in and tutoring kids and giving them good advice. My name is Noah Guthman. I think it was Mr. Buccolo and Ms. Case who nominated me. Thank you for the nomination. I'm in Shoreline and I write for, I write for the school newspaper and so they're the Shoreline people, so they're my bosses. So I'm Deanna Cruz. I am a senior at Highland Park. I was nominated by Debbie Castellani and the Department of Social Studies. One of my teachers this year told me that um, I'm like a very quiet but strong force in the classrooms. So I think that that's it. My name is Christopher James Kingwell. I was nominated by Mrs. Zantara, a special education employee here at the high school. I wasn't really made clear about why I was nominated, but I know she was just really proud of me. I'm Caleb Goldstein, grew up in Highland Park. My engineering teacher, Ms. Took, nominated me. I'm engaged a lot in the school. I do a lot of things from debate presidency to being on the volleyball team for three years. It's just something that I'm really involved with. I'm Sammy Soren. I was nominated by Mr. Connolly and Mrs. Grindel. I'm not really sure. I hope it was because I consider myself to be a leader and I'm, they're my sponsors of Yearbook. My name is Razel Lieberman. Ms. Gonzalez, my gym teacher, nominated me for this award for the work that I do in her class and the work that I do with the freshmen in my class. Perla Delgado, Mr. Villanueva, and TPI program. My name is Noah Apter, and I am a senior. I was nominated by Coach Leibfried. It was his first year as a head coach for the golf team and a very new experience for him. And being the varsity captain, uh, it was uh, imperative and essential for me to help him along the way to make it a much smoother transition for him. Uh, hi, I'm Martin Gold. I'm a senior at HPHS. I'm here because I was nominated by my course teacher, Ms. Sherry Owens, to, for this reception, this dinner. I went for a lot of breadth. I've taken uh, theater and theater classes since I was a freshman here, uh, music classes since I was a sophomore here, and as of last year I started taking dance classes, so I've sort of dipped my toe in as much of the fine arts spectrum as I can. I'm Nina Sonneborn, Dr. Coenis. 
Uh, he and I work together on a volunteer-based Learn to Swim program. My brother and I sort of got it started, and through um, family service, we have kids come in every Sunday morning and learn how to swim. Hello, audience. My name is Michaela Fenner. Miss Pike and HP3 invited me. From freshman year to now, I guess there was something special she saw about me and how I stick out from everyone else. Hi, I'm Mike Kemmel. I was nominated by Mr. Morris and Miss Case. I work on the Sojourn Literary Magazine with them, and I feel I've been uh, an important part of the team for a while. Who am I? Um, I'm Lily Roeder. I was nominated by the Gorleskis. I'm on Student Senate. I'm president of Student Senate this year, and I've been a big part of the planning for all of Charity Drive this year, which is something that's pretty huge at our school, and I'm really proud of that. I'm a person who loves to laugh. I like to enjoy myself. I like sports, and I like movies. And your name is? My name's Juan. Miss Casey elected me. I have a really close relationship with her, and so, um, yeah, I've done pretty well. I've done my work, and I guess that she took that into consideration when picking me. My name is Josh Hoffman, and I was nominated by Miss Victoria Otto who is my yoga teacher. I had her for gym last year, and I have her again this year. Uh, and yoga is not just a place to become more flexible, but it really has become this place where if I'm having a bad day, she senses it and she feels it, and she's comforted me, and I've talked to her about what's going on in life. Uh, and so I think because of our relationship is the reason that she nominated me. I am Beth Jackson. I am here because my art teacher, Mr. Montgomery, nominated me. I think because I've been very dedicated to art and I am going to pursue art later in life and I'm very passionate in class. My name is Andy Kaufman. I am a senior at Highland Park High School. I was nominated as a outstanding stellar student and I'm honored to get that honor. And who nominated you? Uh, Ms. Obinger, my AP Chem teacher. Why you? I don't know. I mean, I, I'd like to think it's because I'm extraordinary or special. I, I mean, but I, I think what it really is was that I just tried to come into class and be happy and have a good time and realize that it was eight and nine and we we're all tired and wanted to get out of there. So at least have a little bit of fun at the end of the day while we could. Three separate words or three words in a row? Adventurous, kind, and genuine. Those are the three adjectives that I actually asked my friends one time, and that's the three words they used to describe me. Friendly. Creative, maybe. I don't know, sometimes I can be creative. A leader. Caring. I can be caring. And kind. Passionate. No, 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 scratch that. Smart and friendly and personable. A warrior, like I'm a warrior. I think I'm a warrior. Three things that describe me. Um, Passionate. Serious. Mm, trustworthy, strong, and honest. Smart, nice, friendly, and pretty funny. Funny, slightly dorky, and driven. Silly, long-winded, kind, uh, gregarious, and smart. Entertaining. Humble, I guess. Strong, intelligent. Intelligent, sassy, and mighty. Outgoing, optimistic, and happy. I am a clumsy person, but I'm also a responsible person and thoughtful, thoughtful. I've heard high strong. I don't know if that's one or two words. Hopefully curious. Passionate, kind. Three words. Energetic is one word people would use to describe me. That should be adjectives? Um, maybe. If I were to go with straight adjectives, I would probably go with funny, outgoing, and knowledgeable. Talkative. But if I had to use a short phrase, it would probably be that tall guy. Groovy, because I like to dance. <laughs> Friendly, motivated, and energetic. Dedicated, introverted, and creative. Fun, outgoing, bit of a know-it-all too sometimes. Athletic, I play a lot of sports. Funny, at least I try to be. And kind. 
unique, that I'm driven, that they would say that I that I love life and that I'm I'm enjoying it even when it's um, even when it gets rough. <laughs> Pet peeves. I am a very organized person, so I hate when things are out of place. When people like one up you all the time, like when you're trying to tell a story and they have they always have to have a better one. I really don't like odd numbers. I like to be clean, so it's my pet peeve when, when I, I don't know when people are really dirty. That's like I found a roommate for college who's clean, something like that. When I wake up, I have to wake up on like even numbers. When people They don't have their buttons buttoned properly. Interrupt you when you're trying to discuss something. When I'm doing like a math problem, it's not the odd numbers that bug me, but like just in general I don't like when things are in like threes or Sevens. Don't close their mouth and they like. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I hate that. Oh. <sighs> when metal and rust crunch together and rub together and make the screeching sound. People. Uh, really, really long fingernails. How do I start it just one? People who use the word like in conversation. So like I was talking to my friend the other day and they were like, and then I was all like, and then a teacher came over and the teacher was like. Uh, I keep saying like so many times. When people chew really loud or walk slowly. When people are walking like side by side together like this, and like I'm trying to get past through the hallway, that, that annoys me a lot. This walking slowly in the hallways always gets, you know, it's awful. I don't like it when people are walking in front of you, they speed up and then they move over into your direction and then they slow down and they're walking too fast for you to pass them but too slow for you to actually be walking behind them and it's just very frustrating. <laughs> but then I realized that when I was a freshman I walked really slow in the halls so I gotta give some people a break. Uh, I cannot stand when people like chew with their mouth open. It's just that noise. When I'm with a group of people and we're working on a project and the majority of the work falls on me. <laughs> <laughs> Arrogance and a lack of empathy for others. When people are eating and their teeth like touch the fork, I freak out. I have to like crunch up in a bite. It's bad, it's bad. It's, it's definitely a real hindrance on life. I hate when people put the emphasis on the wrong part of the word. If you emphasize the wrong part of the word, I'm probably not listening to what you're saying because I'm just focusing on the fact that you're emphasizing the wrong part. I didn't know a girl with glasses could run! And it's like, of course I can. What do you think? Because I'm clearly fairly tall. I frequently get asked to join the basketball team or the football team, despite the fact that I'm not very interested in sports at all. When people do weird things with their like joints, I can like stick these fingers out and like make them like pop out like that. I can go like all the way like to here. I just gotta close my eyes or look away. Favorite superhero, Batman. He's just a really, really determined dude that fights crime in a ridiculous costume. Oh, Batman. For sure, Batman. He's just awesome. Favorite superhero, Batman. Because he has the most media coverage. I would have to go with Batman. Even though he doesn't have any real superpowers, just the fact that he goes out every night and tries to make the city better just because he's a normal guy who wants something nice in his hometown. Batman? You never see Batman use like a gun or even like a knife. It's always just him. Iron Man. The way he's able to uh, utilize random parts and different uh, pieces of metal to create such incredible devices is just really cool. Wonder Woman because she's a woman and she's awesome and doing everything that all the men are doing. Wonder Woman. Just because there's not that many female superheroes out there and so it's nice to know that there's one just for us girls. The second top person I think of is Wonder Woman. The first one is Superman. Superman, he's awesome. And I like the color. I want to say Superman. When you think of him, just seems like he can do everything. I really like Superman. There's just something wonderful and fantastic about him, and he can kind of do everything and do it all, and it's really amazing. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not really that into superheroes. What about superpower? I would be invisible, for sure. People know the show That's So Raven. She has the ability to see into the future. I think that would be a cool power. Super speed is pretty interesting. Flash. This is so fast. Spider-Man. 
He's kind of a character that I can relate to. Teenager, um, of course he has powers. I don't really know much about superheroes, but Captain America is really cute. Yeah, my favorite superhero is definitely Iron Man, just because I, mean, I have a crush on Robert Downey Jr. who doesn't. Green Lantern. I'd have to say, yeah, I know no, no, no one thinks of him, but he really gets to do and make whatever he wants, and uh, I think the whole idea of like will over fear is kind of cool. I like that. Yes, my grandma. I love her. He finds a street light and steps out of the shade, says something like, You and me, babe, how about it? Can I think of a song that everybody should know the words to? But it's just such a like classy love song. Like it's it's snappy. It's good. Kings and Queens by Thirty Seconds to Mars. It's kind of like my jam song. No, I don't like that. Don't put that in the video. I'll be very angry. We are the kings and queens of promise. We are the victims of ourselves. It's a really empowering song. I don't know. Oh my god. I'm gonna go look at my iPod right now. Probably every single Taylor Swift song. They're so catchy. Oh, oh, I know. I got a blank space, baby, <laughs> and I'll write your name. Like, you know, you know that song? Boom Boom Pow by Black Eyed Peas. So I like that Boom Boom Pow. That, yeah. Everything is Everything by Lauren Hill. It's struggling through challenges and adversity and how you need to be able to take those challenges and overcome them. Journeys Don't Stop Believing. Whenever I hear it, I feel like everyone in the room is just jamming. If you think about it, that's beautiful. After winter comes spring. After every challenge and after every obstacle, it's gonna get better no matter what. Maybe, I don't know, Fly Me to the Moon. That's a pretty good song. The ABC song. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I guess till I collapse by Eminem, maybe. I don't know. I can't really think of anything better. Or than like maybe a church hymn or something. Single Ladies by Beyonce. I feel like that's just an anthem. Star Spangled Banner. That's pretty important. I'm a single lady, so I'm a single lady. <laughs> the number one would have to be something by Red Hot Chili Peppers, probably Snow. Hey, oh, listen what I say, oh, and then it just keeps going. It's in Spanish. It's sobre mis pies. No le hace falta tintia tu cabello, así luce bello, yeah. <laughs> But then there are other songs that kind of add culture, such as Time to Say Goodbye by Andrea Bocelli, which everyone should know the words to just because like, it's great to know at least one operatic song. Uh, Let It Be by The Beatles. I think that is a song that everyone should know. It's a great song, great message, it's a classic. Hmm, maybe like A Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. We Are the World, just because it's such a like peaceful song and it's by Michael Jackson. There's one song that a student, a former student at Highland Park, Rohan Malampati, who passed away about a year ago. His favorite song ever was Heal the World by Michael Jackson. And to him, the lyrics resonated so deeply that he made it the official song of a club that we were both involved in that he had a very large role in. And I think that's a great song to keep in mind. I think the song One Day by Matisse Yahoo is a really good song. It's, it has a really good message. One day this all will change. Treat people the same. Stop with the violence. Stop with the hate. And I said, Johnny, what you doing tonight? He looked at me with a face full of fright. And I, I can't, I'm lost. Shut up and dance. And that's a very upbeat, lively song. This woman is my destiny. She said, ooh, shut up and dance with me. Bohemian Rhapsody. When you sing the song with someone else who knows all the words to it, it's just a surreal experience. Any way the wind blows doesn't really matter to me, to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be.